Alright guys, I just thought I'd start this off by saying that uh, a large amount of this episode is actually me setting up my character, reading backstory, and uh, a lot of reading uh, going through like a sort of setup stage. If you aren't interested in that and you want to go straight on to me leaving the first dock of uh, London, then click the annotation somewhere on screen to do that. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I just thought I'd leave that option open. Either way, whatever you choose to do, enjoy. Hello guys, Phoenix here. We are going to be playing some uh, Sunless Sea, because it's currently free on Steam uh, for a few days as a, a bit of a trial. So we'll make this a little bit of a first taste, and uh, if I enjoy it, maybe I'll buy the game and we'll continue the series. The other reason being I wanted to play For Honor, but... I have to restart my computer, and I have all these Chrome tabs open that I don't want to close. So, either way, we're going to uh, get into this. I have played about half an hour of the game, but honestly, I've probably spent about five minutes of playing, because there is so much reading to do at the start of this game. Uh, I kind of know some of the important parts, uh, so we'll skip over a bit of the chaff. Either way, uh, we should get into the game. I kind of know what's going on. <laughs> kind of, this game is... Um... It's interesting. It's got a pretty cool atmosphere. Um, it's all dark and... Uh, the writing style is very interesting. So... <laughs> Uh, let's get into it. So, you're given a choice right at the start. Um, you get to pick. You either get to choose your past, or you can decide later. Um, I've already gone through the choose a past screen, uh, so I think I know what I'm going to go for. I'll probably go for yeah what I went for last time. So, <laughs> three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. There you go, guys. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everybody. I would assume so. But it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untersee. So we're gonna decide who we were and uh, who we want to be. So we now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. I'm gonna say right now, I'm going to struggle to read some of this stuff to you, because, uh, A, I don't do a lot of reading out loud, and, uh, B, some of these sentences just aim to mess you up. So, um, I will go through the, <laughs> the, the effects, I guess you could say, uh, that these, these classes give you. I'm not I'm not going to go through all the backstory, because honestly, if we read absolutely everything this game gives us, we're never going to get through. Uh, we're not going to leave the port by the end of this first episode. So, uh, if you play a street urchin, uh, you will have a bonus to Veils, the skill of subtlety and evasion. If you're a poet, this will give you a bonus to Pages, the skill of trickery and knowledge. If you're a veteran of the Campaign of 68, this will give you a bonus to Iron, the skill of causing direct damage. Ordained P Priest, this will give you a bonus to Hearts, the skill of healing and morale. And finally, uh, a Natural Philosopher. This will give you a bonus to Mirrors, the skill of detection and perception. Um, okay, Pages, Mirrors, I see. For some reason I thought this was also Mirrors, but perhaps not. Um, I like the idea of trickery and knowledge, obviously. Um, so, a poet, educated and articulate. You seek, see, you seek, sent, sent, start again. <laughs> educated and articulate. You seek sensation at sea. How lucky you had a legacy to spend. Your long vanished father had a rich patron, it seems. That is what we're going to go for, a poet, because trickery and knowledge. Alright, a wise soul. We're not going to read over this, but uh, talk to the navigator to find out why he went to Z. Oh, we will go over this, actually. And your friend, the sly navigator. He's a little vague, but he probably knows what he's doing. 
perhaps you can find someone better eventually. Uh, if you hover over his character portrait up here. Competent, probably. Trustworthy, possibly. Mirrors, plus one. Uh, and we can speak to him later, uh, which we will do. So, we're a struggling poet. Now we're a Z captain. My stranger quality is gone. Uh, we gained 20 echo, which I assume is the currency. We now have an extra 25 pages and a sly navigator and somebody is looking for passage. So, uh, we get to pick... So, what does winning mean to you? I assume this is the end goal. Okay? So, we can either find our father's bones, so... Uh, which is, uh, your father was lost at Z, you never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. Find and return his remains to London for a decent burial. Uh, fulfillment. Gather a hundred tales, learn all you can of the Z, write a masterpiece, retire. Wealth. You know how it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servants, fine clothes, a family, perhaps. And, uh, finally, this one's locked, but a private kingdom. Establish a colony where you are absolute ruler. A utopia, perhaps. Perhaps. You can choose this now, but you may find an opportunity. You can't choose this now, but you may find an opportunity to switch to it later. You need impossible. This choice is not yet available. It will be someday. Okay, that's cool. Um, so. So. Oh, maybe wealth. <laughs> we never knew our father. What do we care if he is given a, uh, a decent burial? He is only 50% only, uh, of the reason for our existence. Uh, hmm. I have a, well, it's, this is a d4. Uh, what do we got? Okay, here I have a dice. Uh, one and two is the first option. Three and four is the second. Five and six is the last. You're going to have to take my word on it. And we got six. Wealth it is. Yeah, yeah yet again, you're going to have to take my word on this one. Oh, give me a second. Okay, there were just some people walking past. Um, wealth it is then. Maybe with wealth we will go on to uh, do our best, perhaps... Uh, perhaps possibly... Uh, no. Uh, possibly get into the uh, the kingdom later. So uh, let's read over this. Uh, the under Z is full of riches, dark da death and darkness too, but it's worth the gamble. To win, gather a substantial retirement fund, upgrade your lodging to a mansion, and retire. An occurrence. Uh, your objective ambition quality is now retire to a life of luxury. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we get to pick our title. So, Captain, Captain, an irregularity with the Harbour Master's office. They wish to know, what term of address do you prefer ashore? Okay, this will determine what people call you. But the gender's up to you. So, no matter which one of you, them you choose, you can decide which gender you want to be. So, Madam, more Z Captains choose this than you might expect. Sir, Citizen. Uh, a term of address popular among those of egalitarian sentiments. Uh, my lord, perhaps you really do come from a noble family. Who's to know? My lady, perhaps you really do come from a noble family. Again, uh, and captain, you will, you will do perfectly well ashore. Uh, captain will do perfectly well ashore, as well as at sea, thank you. Uh, well, Sir Phoenix, so obviously sir. Uh, sir it is. Awesome. A last piece of advice. Take chances. The ca this captain will probably die. The Z is hungry, but each captain passes on lessons to the next. Okay, we will now be addressed as Sir. And we get to choose who we are. Uh, I'll go through each of these character portraits, but I think I already know which one I'm going to pick. So, uh, just go through them one by one. I like the here. I like that here even more. But that's a pretty snazzy pipe. <laughs> Maybe that'd go with uh, with my lord. I like the mustache. I do quite like this one. Uh, looks pretty interesting. Another pipe. Uh, that's just the default one. Um, this one's interesting. 
Um, this is probably the one I'm going to go for. Uh, then we got what looks like a thief of some sort. Uh, somebody wrapped in bandages. And this guy. Okay, so we're going to go for this. And seems we are already, sir. Our name will be Phoenix. Perfect. Sir Phoenix it is. Except... Okay, and now we're on what I assume is, like, the, the whole way you interact with docks and stuff. This is what I'm guessing. So, there is advice for captains. Um, they just say captains die. So, there you go. You can die, and I assume you come back. Legacies. Future captains can inherit some skills, officers, equipment, and money. Over time, you'll find extra items and advantages that allow you to preserve a greater inheritance. So, I assume this is interesting. It's like character permadeath. If your character dies, uh, don't worry, because you've got another character you can become. So, that's cool. Um, exploration. Exploration is the heart of the game. Ooh, never call it a game. That's... The, no... Come on, you break all immersion. Um, risk brings rewards, staying close to London is safe, but eventually you'll run out of fuel and supplies. Uh, there is a mercy mode for people who don't want to play the game properly. See, unforgiving mode is how it's meant to be played. If you're getting frustrated or want a more leisurely exploration, you can switch to merciful mode. I don't think we'll be doing that. Um, uh... On machines, you have uh, engines and your light, both of which use uh, fuel, which you can see up here. We have ten barrels of fuel so far. Uh, I've got no idea how long that'll last. Uh, finding places to explore, you can use your Z-Bat Scout. Technically, it's a chrythopteroscope. But we're among friends here. Uh, if we go in here, you press Z or click the button somewhere down here. And he'll explore for you. Uh, if you're moving, it gives less accurate directions. Pause to get the most accurate reading. Okay. Um, you, there's fighting. Uh, when you go into ports, you can get stories. Um, terror is bad. Um, they add stories from time to time. You can download them from the main menu. And we can sell this book if we want. I... We'll keep the book. London. She's the greatest city in the Undersea. Undersea. Uh, we can visit an office. Um, they'll pay for information from cap uh, Z captains. Find out what uh, and how. Unlocked with favours. Uh, no more than two. Okay. Um, we can hire... Well, let's see what else can we do. We can visit the university, which we cannot currently do, because we need either a secret or a... Or, and favours. No more than zero. We... okay. Um, carouse in the Wolfstack docks. There is no danger here. Try to enjoy yourself. Uh, we'll reduce your terror. You might run into trouble. Or romance. Um... Oh, your luck quality gives you 80% chance of success. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can hire more crew. Oh, we probably don't need to. Um, we can repair our ship. We can offer passage to a tomb colonist. Okay. Um, it's oddly difficult to die in fallen London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take a sh take sh uh, take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew, uh, your crew cart, these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. Uh, the tomb colonist is in your hold. Take them north to the colony of Vendebright and sell them there. Well, sell them. Yes, I like this. This will help us towards wealth. We must get our wealth. What else can we do? Um, uh, lots of things are locked. Let's do this one. Uh, continue. Ooh. The Admiralty Survey Office. Uh, the Admiralty Pickets, Fleets, and Intelligence Networks uh, are long gone. The Survey Office pays Z-Captains a small sum for recent information. 
visit and investigate ports to gain port report, uh, reports and trade them in here. The first time you trade in a report, you'll gain Admiralty's favour. Okay. Ask if there's anything in particular they need. Well, if we can be assured of your discretion. Uh, ask to speak to a higher authority. Let's ask if there's anything they need. This port. Speak to our agents there. And return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Uh, visit the port below and return to London. You can check the details in your journey at any time. Um, ooh. Retrieve strategic information from Iron and Misery Company Ferging Station. Of uh, Funging Station. Somewhere not far from home waters. Okay, so we don't have to go too far to find this one. That's not bad. Uh, and we'll leave there. Let's go to our lodgings. Uh, read the morning papers. Let's do that. Um, news from abroad. The Canate is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies on the... Carnelian Coast want independence. They always do. The Undersea, uh, the paper reports, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't, you'd know. Oh ho, a promotional coupon from Miss, uh, from Miss Plenty's provisioners for a half cask of salt and hearing. You could use that. Awesome. And we've gained a recent news. Okay, and we've also gained supplies. That's probably a good thing. And that is all we can do. Alright then. Uh, we'll go back to London, I suppose. Okay, maybe not. Um, a passenger. Someone in the docks wants to board your ship. Um, agree to carry the Gnomic Gallivant to the... Oh, to the Iron and Misery Funging Station. Uh, or, and the Cumian Canal. Or both. Uh, history is a horse. You will, uh, who will prick it with their spurs? He cries to no one in particular. A drop of blood may be as precious as a ruby. Well, we're already going to the Iron and Misery Funging Station, at least, so why not take him? Okay, so we agree to carry him. Uh, welcome aboard. He puffs out his chest. Ruby studs gleam from uh, green gleam in the lamplight. I knew London had an had enterprising soul still left in it. I am sinking truths, sir. Which, I am told, I may find in the Iron Miser and Misery Funging Station and the Cumian Canal. I'd, I'd, uh, ideally, I'd learn both. But I could settle for one. For at Port Cecile, they will, there will be a contest. And we will change the world with a game of chess. A king will fall. Okay, then. Uh, they're going to both of those places. I guess we can probably take them there. And I think that's all. Uh, we don't have anything in our hold. Uh, we have cargo, fuel, a tomb colonist. Curiosities, recent news. Advice for captains. And an Invictus token. Ooh, Invictus. Um, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. You are in unforgiving mode, with no save slots beside the basic autosave. You will lose this token if you switch from unforgiving to merciful mode. Ah, well, we shall not be doing that. Um, okay, this is where we can, um, set up our ship. Journal, uh... Marina, you know something of the undersea. Alright then. Officers, we will talk to this guy. And we have a ferret as our mascot. That is pretty good. It's a comatose ferret. Sure. <laughs> Shops. Uh, we... Oh, you can, we can sell this for 50. That's pretty good. We can buy fuel for 10... Flares, supplies, foxfire candles. What are these for? Uh, we've all made mistakes. If only those mistakes could be left in the dark. Alright. Um, we can just... Okay, we'll, we'll not do that right now. Shipyard, uh, we can buy new ships. They're not cheap. Okie dokie then. I think uh, we will now leave the port. Only 19 minutes into the video. My lords. Well, I think we'll actually end the video here and call this uh, an introductory episode. So, I will, uh, I will very quickly go and add a little voiceover to the start of the video saying <laughs> this is an introductory episode. <laughs> And uh, I guess episode one will start next. 
Either way, guys, hope you've enjoyed this, and, uh... If you have, you know, make sure to like the video or whatever. In fact, if you have, just make sure to go and watch the next video. Thanks and bye.